guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of the Idol Master Shinola Girls Under 149. So, gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's TA's turn! Oh my god! <laughs> Nina. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Nina. You okay? Uh oh. Baby, no, no, cry, no, cry, no, cry. Oh. <laughs> We'll talk about <clears throat> the fact that the new event is also featuring kids from the series. I I really thought that we would have just got one and done, but no, there was like mm -mm, here, here's another one featuring four kids: <laughs> Adesu, Haru, um, Media, and uh, Chie. Chie. I think Chie is also in the in the event as well, or Kaoru. One of them is. One of them. I'll check after because I gotta log it anyway. Mm Also, I am nervous about the Cinderella results. We don't know until a couple of days from now, and I am so scared. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. And a CEO. Since you like fashion, no. <laughs> She looks so pretty. <laughs> we go earlier in the week and we see baby as you and I, and now we get to see her. <laughs> <clears throat> nice food. A weird way, I kind of feel like she's going to wear her, I think it's her first limited card outfit in this episode. Or something that pays homage to it. Mm-hmm. Meaning she really cares. Bye, sweetie.
throne. Maybe. That is a Yuna scream. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm loving her shorts. Mm Mm. Oh, I like that top. I'm sorry, I'm a girl. <laughs> He's right. You know you're good at sewing, to you. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's okay if you screw up. It's okay to be afraid.
<laughs> it's fine. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. The fact that they're having both of them sing. Oh my god. That picture right there of her just like pointing, that pays homage to one of her SR cards. I love it. Oh. Yeah. Once again, all I hear is Yuna, and I love it. Be confident. Yeah, because they haven't done her solo yet, so it makes the most sense to have this song play. Oh, you look so pretty. That is. Is it bad that I kind of want these three in the unit now? She's so precious, it's not even funny. The shoes, the shoes. This has to be her solo game. 
it would be nice to put it in tomorrow. Maybe after, you know. Yes, but now it, it's idle time. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god. Are we going to hear a solo though? Hold on, give me a sec. Yeah. No? I think so. I mean, because she already has her solo. I think so. I, like, I said, I'll, I'll check in a minute. Aww. <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh, my God. But this was really a good episode for her. I'm glad that, you know, this really was her turn. She looked so adorable in the outfit and everything. I also love the fact that Sukasa got to pay homage in this episode as well. Because way, 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 way before um, when I started playing the game, and you know how like you don't really get to choose a girl, but there are hordes of girls that you end up liking and stuff. And so Sukasa was one of those girls. Um... I ended up liking a lot, even though at the time she was unvoiced. And I was like, well, if she ever gets a voice, I wonder who it's going to be. And then we all freaked when it was what's her face. Oh, she fixed it. Oh, um, freaking, uh, Bronco. No, Junko. Junko from, um, <laughs> Zombieland Saga. And then when I looked at it even more, I was like, oh, no, it's Yuna. And so really looking at this and seeing these two interact with each other does kind of give me feels towards both Yuna and Fina from Kumakuma Bear. Even though, like, that's a completely different series that her seiyu is in, but because of the fact is when Tsukasa speaks, that's all I hear. And I'm like, ma'am, you, you can't have me thinking about Kuma Bear on a freaking Wednesday, but... I mean, it just makes me love not only the show and even more, but Kuma Bear and anything else that she is in because she does a really good job. Because at first, when I heard the voice, I didn't know how to feel. Everybody was like, oh, it's perfect. Like, it suits her. And then when I got to listen to it a little bit more and finally getting used to these unvoiced girls finally getting voice characters, I'm like, yeah. This does suit her. She is another one of those characters that I would love to get all of her SSR. She has officially, I have one of hers and it's her second perm. Um, so probably either if I end up buying her first perm or waiting until that next um, SSR perm thing comes up again. Because of course that came up recently. Probably it would be Sukasa because I really enjoy her a lot. I think she's really interesting. I do pray. Because I also love Mika so much, because she is my best passion girl, besides Shin, that her and Mika are at least in a unit together, because, of course, they look really good together. I think their voices would complement each other well. I do also like the fact that, you know, with the song that is going to be featured tomorrow, um, was a heavily focused Chiang Sukasa song. I really thought that was adorable. Very different, because we haven't had, essentially duo songs just yet in this show i mean yes we had you know the lip song which is like literally the best song that has come out for this show in, in my opinion there, there's hordes of songs and such but yes it was truly adorable and i honestly cannot wait to see how like ne next week not only next week when it's finally um kaoru's turn because i think kaoru is the only one who is left out of everybody. Um, 
what her episode is going to be about. Also, can we just talk about the, the elephant in the room? I do also love the fact that both Kaoru and Chie are the sinfesses of this year. Because, honestly, I, I think, you know, a lot of us, we were predicting, like, so many things. Like, we were wondering if it was going to be another duo. Were they going to focus on the kids? Because the kids, you know, anime is out and such. Is it going to be someone who maybe is featured in the anime? So that could have been um, maybe Cutting or even Tsukasa or one of the Lips girls. But technically all of the Lips girls already have their Blanc. So it would have been more of Noir-esque. And out of Noir, the only ones that have theirs are Shiki, Shiki and, um, what the heck is her name? Kanade. Um, and then I think Kyoko has hers too. So I think it's just Frederica and Mika, like the day the Mika card comes out, I'm, I'm not ready for that. Because I only have 7,495 gems. And such, but yes, I think the the outfits for both of them for their sin vest for for them really much suits them a lot, especially when you look at Kaori because Kaori was such a sunshine baby, precious baby girl and such, and so I love the fact that hers is like a gardening esque card. She looks really adorable. Chie's is very similar to how I talked about um, Adesu's um, blonde no. Noir, how hers is a little, you know, not not risque, but sensual and, you know, almost adult-like. Because when you look at Adesu, because she says she is such a mature girl, you're going to see something like that. With Chie, it does hone into her love of fashion and sewing and stuff. Just as much as I feel like whenever Risa is going to get her sin, her sin fest, whenever that is coming, unless that one card that came out a while ago is her sin fest, um is very beautiful of course if it's not of course it'll be beautiful as hell i honestly cannot wait i just love the fact that these little kids are getting their time to shine whether it is in limited cards for limited gotchas or in the sinfest gotchas but it does make me wonder with the one that we have left on kaoru what her episode is going to be about next week hopefully it features some gardening and such aspect for her i wonder like what they're going to do with her song like what is she going to sing because pretty much like yeah everybody has now done their solo song and eventually will be featured in the game so you know it's just about a, a wait and see type of game but other than that guys that is my reaction for you towards episode eight of the idol master cinderella girls under 149 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode nine bye guys